goes on there and says uh, in Ecclesiastes 4, For if one fall, they will lift up his fellow. You know, another great thing being sent out two by two is the encouragement that you receive. You know, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for there hath not another to help him. You know, you might be out there soul winning and you have a bad door, somebody's got a bad spirit, and don't let that scare you away. Don't, you know, and I remember when I first started, I would be so nervous about that, about having some jerk at the door. You know, is she going to say something nasty or, or just, you know, be, be annoyed that you're there. That's going to happen. But you know what? you got to just learn to, 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 to shake the dust off your feet and move on. And a soul winning partner will help you do that. You know, that's one thing I always try to do. If I ever am out there and, and somebody, you know, it's the other person's turn to talk and they knock on the door and they have a, a bad experience, you know, someone's just being nasty at the door, whatever, rude. And, you know, the temptation is to walk away and get in the flesh and just, oh, you know, that jerk, you know, and just think all the things. But as a soul winning partner, when I see that happen to my partner, when they go through that, I immediately try to get their mind on something else. You know, I try to talk to them, try to keep a conversation going so you can forget it. I mean, we should try it because as human beings, I remember being told this, uh, you know, when I was working in customer service is that we always tend to remember the bad experiences. You know, if you work with customers, you never remember that great customer who came in and was very helpful and kind and patient and was appreciative of your, of your work. You always remember that mean, nasty person who came in and had nothing to do but complain and go to the manager and give you a hard time. I mean, those are the people you remember. So when we're out, you know, soul winning, often, you know, that's, that's easy to do. We get a bad door. We get discouraged. We say, man, what a jerk. And we're, going, we're taking that spirit to the next door, that attitude, that discouragement. As we go and knock on the door, here, is it going to be another one of those jerks? You know, that's why as a silent, or not a silent partner, but as a soul winning partner, when you go with somebody, you can make it a point to encourage them. Say, hey, you know, forget about that guy. And the more you do that, the, the more natural it becomes. I mean, I've gotten to the point now where people people are jerk. I didn't see it, and I just go on. And I, I really doesn't even phase me hardly anymore. But that's something that you grow into, and I believe that's something that a good soul winning partner will help you with. That they won't sit there and, you know, incur, you know they, they'll encourage you to just move on. They won't sit there, but you're right, that guy was a jerk, you know, and, and, you, and you know, he just carries on. But that's some good reasons why the model of going out two by two is, is important.